M0 FXB, just an update on my uh, sort of getting the APRS to work on Anytone 878. Um, so I have got it working, but I just tested it again today. I just want to go through an update. So I just got it onto talk group 310999. And if you look here, you can see that I've just transmitted. It says DMR here uh, only a few minutes ago. So it's now 4.35, it says 4.28. So here we are showing up DMR, so it's definitely working. So I wanted to just show you the settings that I've got in my code plug, so I think it's quite important. Now, another thing you've got to remember is that in um, self-care, you do have to make sure you've added in that the, that the number in self-care is M0FXB-9 to match what you've put in the code plug. So let's just quickly look at the code plug. So we'll start off just looking at the channel. Um, got Nico boogieing in the background, but don't worry about that. So here's the channel, and I've made sure that the channel name and the con contact name. Huh? Oh, go on. Say hi, Nico. Hi. Hi from Nico, everyone. Good boy. Right. So double click here. So just look, I've got the channel name matching. I've the contact number which you select here which you have to create you have to create the contact um, then you've got it's my ones on slot 2 digital the frequency of my hotspot simplex hotspot uh, always so it's basically TX permit always APRS report type digital digital APRS PTT mode is on and which this is crucial digital APRS report channel number one and I'll show you why that matters in a second. All of this doesn't matter. Now, the, the settings I'm telling you now about are, these ones are for DMR. So you transmit on your radio, it goes via your hotspot, possibly a repeater, um, using these frequencies, and then out into the talk group you've connected to. So click OK. Now, the APRS setting, so just to add, make, to make, to add this line here where it says APRS, you need to go Tools, uh, options and you just need to tick these two boxes that come up DPS and APRS okay I've, uh, so then when you double click the APRS box so now, now these are what have worked for me I'm just going to focus on on the top line here so look the reporting channel that I just said to you about see the way it says number one that has to match the channel so here it says number one right number one and these are, I've just put current channel and the channel slot that way you don't have to put any seconds in here but crucial APRS talk group 31099 is, is has to match and I'll show you what it has to match double click the channel and here look see that um, that's, that's the wrong channel right the 31099 channel has to match do you see that and look DG digital APRS report channel number one crucial otherwise it won't work and look slot two and color code one make sure that all matches digital for dmr now let's just say we wanted to it to work on on this aprs tg91 channel here then we would have to make sure that everything matches again yeah so but i'm not going to complicate things let's focus on the one that works so that one is definitely working so copy that go back to aprs settings Double click. Um, so as you can see, the top line there, manual TX interval, that basically set up one. And what that basically means is that I can key the mic after one second, I can key it again. The auto one is set to 60, as you can see. So every 60 seconds, it will just automatically transmit for me APRS. Support for roaming is turned on. Fixed location beacon is on. In my case, so um, that worked for me, and I and I've got my location typed in here as well. Now, some people say turn it off, but when I had it off, it didn't work. So I turned it on, and it works. So uh, APRS TX tone on. You, actually, that is quite annoying because you can hear it, so you don't really need that. And then I've just got in here APDR10 to call SSID left that blank my call sign m0 fxb then your ssid is dash nine 
Um, see the symbols? There's a chart which I did show earlier. Basically, these, the combination of these two symbols are what um, sort of um, cartoon type character you're going to show on, on Apra SFI, like a car or a walking man or a house, yeah? So there is a chart for these uh, on my other video. Here I've just got selected Y2-2, enter your sending text, Andrea. I've just put M0FXP Andrea, so I could change that. And just put just to see if one if I test it again, South West UK. Let's see if that comes up. And then here oh I see this is more the for my FM analog one. And I've tested this one. This one definitely works. One four four eight hundred, six hundred off, sixty two point five. Don't even use the tone, do we? Da 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 da. So just click. Uh, do we even need tone? You know? Well it's there anyway. I can't see that you can turn it off. So anyway, I'm not going to mess with that because it's already on. So I'm not going to mess with that. So click OK and save. I'm going to save that, send it to my radio. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another test and see if I come up again. So I'm just going to pause this video. OK, we're back. I found that sort of chart with all the different symbols. Have a look at that, see if I can zoom it in a bit. Pause the video, have a look. So the combination of these two characters. So I've got the car. So where's the car? There's the car. So I've got a, a slanty forward line and a forward arrow. And that's giving me a car. So that's how it works. So pause it, have a look. Have a little play with these different symbols. Self-care. Here I am on my logged in. And look, APRS call sign M0FXB-9. So we've done that. So, okay, and I'll go to digital, we'll do, a, do a live sort of uh, transmission to see if it even works. So we'll just go M0FXB test. Actually, no, we're on the wrong talk group there. Oh, no. So let me just disconnect from that and uh, go on to the correct talk group. Right, we're on Pi Start. Here's the radio. Let's key up. M0FXB test. As you can see, we're on 310999. Now the time is 446. So now we'll go to APRS FI and we'll put in here M0FXB 9. We'll do a search and we're coming up, at, still coming up at 428. We'll keep trying. It did work just now. I'll try one more time, but th these are the settings that have worked for me. And I tested it just now. So we're not coming up yet, but they did work for me about 20 minutes ago. Hopefully they'll work for you. Let's just keep, oh, I've still got talk group 91 coming in, which is a bit weird. Right, try again. M0 FXB test. M0 FXB test. One, two, three, transmitting APRS. Yeah, and I can see it actually says on the radio when you key, at the end of, I'll show you, at the end of the transmission actually shows you that it's sending APRS. And even on the thing it says DMR data being sent to 31099. So that's Try one more time. There it is there. We've come up now. Let's go minus here a bit. And you can see it's um, here, look. APRS DMR 1647, which is the current time. There you go. So it is working. So 7.3, hope it works for you. M0FXB clear. All the best.